If you want to move data from the registers back to the memory, we will use the STR instruction. However, for STR instruction, the first operand is the source. It is a register that holds the data that we want to move out. And the second operand is the destination. As you can see, it is also start with a square bracket where it must be a memory location. Similar to the road instruction, the register inside the square bracket holds the value of the memory address. This is one of the few instructions that first operand is the source instead of the other way around. For example, if we need to move a data from R4 back to the memory to the location where the address is 0A, We can write the codes as str for store, the source is r4, and the destination is a memory. And finally, the address is given by register 0. Let's do an exercise on what we have learned so far. Assuming these are the initial value on the memory and registers, 0 has a value of 10 and register 1 has a value of 14. Let's look at the first instruction. We need to move a value from the memory to the register 3. The address of the memory is stored inside R0 and the value is happened to be 10. So if we look into the memory address of 10 and then move its content to the destination which is R3. And finally R3 will be replaced by the value of 0 0 0 0 0 0 and 0 Now this is the interesting part. The value that was found from the memory address 10 is actually 0A, 00, 00, and 00. And also the first value is at memory address of 10, the second value is at 11, the third address is stored at 12, and finally the fourth value is stored at address 13. So when the root instruction is executed, it will move total of 4 bytes start from the memory address given by the instruction. And we call this as a word operation. Word in this context means 4 bytes. When the data is about to be written to the registers, the order of the bytes has to be reversed. This is because by default the ARM processors use little endian for the memory. Where the last byte is moved to the first byte in the register, the third goes to the second, the second goes to the third, and the first byte goes to the last location of the registers. Let us look at the second example. Again, we are moving data from the memory, which can be told by the two square bracket. The destination is R4. However, this time, the memory address is given by register 1.
in R1 where we can get the value for the memory address which happened to be 14 in hexadecimal. And once we have the memory address, we know which memory location our data came from. Last process is to transfer the data to the R4. And don't forget to reverse the byte order before you write into the register. Let's try out the store instruction. Here we need to store the data from R3 back to the memory. Again, the memory address is from R4 and the value is 4. Now the source is the register instead and the value at R3 is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 and 0, 8. And with that we know where is the memory location and also the data that to be stored there. Don't forget to reverse the byte order before the data is written to the location. Notice that the data stored inside a register is just a value. So it can be interpreted as any form of usage including as a value for the memory address. I hope you have better understanding on the fundamental of the road and store instruction by now. We will go further into more complicated examples in future videos.